what's up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is kyla tree so i'm back with another video in today's video i am going to be doing some knotless sprays on myself so what you're gonna need is some combs a brush your favorite leave-in conditioner and a curling cream i did not use any gels or anything like that i just used my curling cream and a leave-in conditioner i had some scrunchies to separate and a wide tooth comb so let's get right into it First of all, my hair was very, very, so y'all see at the root, okay, my hair, I have a bunch of new growth at the roots of my head, so, which is good, but, um, I was getting tired of this style, and I was getting tired of the new growth, like, it was getting kind of tangly, you know what I'm saying, so I had to first, okay, I didn't have a towel, and I didn't feel like getting up, so I, that's a shirt, yes, it's a shirt, um, so I wet my hair down, that's number one. And then, what are you doing right here, Kyla? What you doing? So I'm just wetting my hair down, getting it. As y'all can see, I have a porosity and yeah, I did not have my steamer at the time. So I couldn't steam my hair for moisture and all that other shit. I was real mad about that, but it's coming Sunday. So yeah. Um. But yeah, so I'm just wetting down my hair and I'm going to comb through it. That is, that's what took the most time. Um, I probably should have went under the shower and wet my hair or under the sink and wet my hair so it would be more manageable. But I didn't feel like doing all that. I just had the spray bottle so I just worked with what I worked with. Mind you, take your time. This took me just getting my hair situated it took me at least 20 minutes i am not working on freshly washed hair either my hair does not need to be washed it just needed to be refreshed a little bit so yeah there's that but yeah i was just trying to get like my part down the middle and then just get it nice and moisturized and things like that so that's what I am doing here. But Nylas braids, they're really, really nice. They're cute, especially like if you have like longer hair, you can do them on yourself. Very easy, very manageable. And I did do, do them a little thicker this time because I didn't want any, um, I just wanted the takedown process to be, to go smoothly. So yeah. So right now I'm just getting my parts together and all of that good stuff. Sectioning things off and preparing for my braids oh i do want to know make sure that you are watching something or you know you're playing music or something like that i was watching some on hulu and yeah because this is gonna take it's not gonna be long but you know you don't want to sit there in radio silence that's why i'm doing a voiceover and not a live video because no man who is gonna sit there in silence nobody um, alright y'all, so that's all I have to say. All I'm doing is moisturizing, detangling, and I'm going to start braiding. And y'all will see the end when, y'all will see the end at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Kyla Latrice. As y'all can see, my new brush is right there. It's nice and black. I actually love it. Um, and make sure you follow me on TikTok as well. My TikTok is Kyla Latrice. And let me know if you do not list braids on yourself or are you a braider. I'm looking for a braider to just do my hair when I don't feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you live in California. Um, These bitches be pricing too damn much. So, yeah. I'm looking for a decent braider that charges decent prices. Okay? So, hit me up. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? And you could possibly be featured in one of my YouTube videos. Period. Uh, I could vlog, get my hair done. Whatever. Um, Alright, y'all. So, I will see y'all in my next video. Like I said, I only did one section of my head on camera. But y'all will see the full thing. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already seen my hair. So, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Because Instagram, they get the scoop. They get the full spill. They get everything. They get a lot on Instagram. And I do polls for videos. What would you like to see next? You can DM me and all that other stuff. And yeah. All right. Oh, don't DM me always asking me where do I get my shit from? Because no, that's kind of weird. I had like two females. They always ask me like, oh, where did you get that from? Where did you get this from? Where did you get that from? Where did you get this from? Like, girl, shut the fuck. Like, 
look shit up sometime that shit is annoying like i understand you want to like see where i get my shit from but damn every message that shit is weird as fuck i'm sorry it's annoying it's weird where'd you get this where'd you get that where'd you get this from where'd you get that from where'd you get like get shut the fuck up and then there was always this one bitch i'm finna vent now there's always this one bitch um i do a poll and i'm like oh would y'all like to see this type of video yes or no and the same bitch always puts no mind you even if you put no i'm still gonna record the video you know what i'm saying because that's what i want to put out but it's like the same bitch always puts no so it's like you're not a fan of me and this is also the same bitch that asked me where do i get my shit from so it's like okay mm, yeah you're blocked because i don't no and then she tried to send me a fake ass dm oh my god i love your videos i love your shit and it's like mm, i don't think you do you don't seem like a supporter of me so yeah bitch bye all right y'all that was just my little vent session let me know how y'all feel about that because i feel like i genuinely feel like that's kind of weird like if i'm wrong let me know but i don't feel like i'm wrong so i feel like the bitch was weird, weird as fuck all right y'all i'll see y'all in my next video bye I'm <laughs>